Hey everyone, I'm Anna Dolosky. You know that cringe-worthy nails on a chalkboard sound most of us can't stand? Mm, yep, yeah. okay, yep, yeah, that one. But why? One theory suggests that the awful sound is similar to the warning call of primates, <coughs> dating back to the caveman days. Mm, but scientists have since come up with a better explanation, and they say it's not the high-pitched tone that makes us cringe. A study dating back to 1986 used different frequencies from recordings of nails scratching a chalkboard, and scientists asked participants to rate the sounds based on cringe-worthiness. They then separated the different sounds in the recordings low, medium, and high. When scientists removed the high-pitched frequencies, the rate of unpleasantness didn't change among the subjects. But when scientists removed the low or medium spectrums of the sounds, subjects gave more positive ratings. Also, the ratings tended to be more harsh if the subjects knew they were hearing a sound of nails on a chalkboard, versus when told the recordings were part of a music composition. Years later, in Austria and Germany, scientists hypothesized that due to the shape of the human ear canal, which amplifies certain frequencies, Frequencies causing the most aversion are somewhere between 2,000 and 4,000 hertz, not higher. And since our ears are pretty sensitive, scientists say even removing those frequencies doesn't make the sound more pleasant, it just makes it a little more tolerable. But the thought of nails slowly screeching on a chalkboard, oh, I can't, I can't. Mm -mm. Nails on a chalkboard even has its own Wikipedia page, like an entire section dedicated to why scraping nails on a chalkboard is super irritating. But it's not the only sound we can't stand. Apparently, we can't stand our own voices either. Ah! But why? Basically, there are two ways sound enters our ears. Air conducted. I love you which means noise that enters from the outside world, and bone conducted, what we hear from inside our heads. So when we hear a recording of ourselves, the bone conducted pathway that we consider normal is removed. So we only hear the air conducted version, our own voice entering from the outside world. And it's a much more harsh and high pitched sound. And see, I thought I sounded like Scarlett Johansson from those Dolce & Gabbana commercials. It's not the words or the music. I, yeah, no? Okay, no. I guess we're all a bunch of high-pitched crazies just trying to survive. To see more stories like this, like us on Facebook, visit our website, acsh.org. Don't forget, while you're there, you can also sign up for your daily dose of news delivered straight to your inbox. For the Council, I'm Anna Dolosky.